you shouldn't buy the iPhone 15 Pro Max and here's why. So Apple made a huge deal about the use of titanium in their new Pro models. They mentioned that it makes the new iPhone more lighter, stronger and more durable. I understand it's more light and all, but not more durable. I don't buy it. Because you see, the older stainless steel frame that you see in previous gen iPhone models had no issue when it comes down to durability. It never cracked or bent. And when it comes to durability, the issue is still the same, which plagued humans for generations, which is the front screen cracking or the glass back shattering into million little pieces. By the way, they are using the same materials that they have been using in previous iPhone models, which is the ceramic shield in front and textured glass at the back. It's still made out of glass. Glass is glass and glass can break. By the way, iPhone 15 Pro Max is supposed to be an upgrade from iPhone 14 Pro Max's. But they still use the same screen, same resolution, same old PPI, same 120Hz, same screen brightness, just like the iPhone 14 Pro series, which was released one year back. Where is the upgrade? On top of that, they look so similar. I have a hard time distinguishing which is what. Come on, Apple. It is just like me trying to figure out which is JB in this picture. Having said that, Apple introduced the new button called the Action button. It replaces the old mute button and I have a very mixed reaction to this. Yes, I love the fact that I have more options now when it comes down to customizing this button, but I love my old mute button. It came in so handy to mute my iPhone during lectures and meetings. And there is this tactile feedback that you get while I flip the mute button on and off. It acts like a confirmation that your iPhone is definitely on silent mode. I hate when my iPhone rings during a meeting. You need to apologize to everyone. It's so embarrassing, but the new action button is more of a haptic button. You can't feel the button to know whether your iPhone is actually silent or not. That sucks. Apart from that, Apple upgraded their telephoto zoom lens from 3x to 5x and it's only available in the 15 Pro Max models. But to be honest, I never used my 3x zoom lens which is on my iPhone 14 Pro ever. So what makes me think that I'll be using this new 5x zoom lens? This upgrade doesn't make any sense to me. Having said that, the only major change that I see in this new iPhone is the processor. The new A17 Pro processor is supposed to be wicked fast. They have an upgraded CPU, an upgraded GPU with ray tracing and all that fancy stuff which makes the gameplay smoother and more immersive. But the sad part is, I will not be able to take advantage of this upgrade because I hardly game. For me, using my iPhone means listening to music, watching movies, messaging, browsing, that's it. So again, it doesn't make any sense for an upgrade. By the way, this new chip is supposed to be more power efficient which means better battery life, right? No, no, not so fast. The iPhone 14 Pro Max which was released one year back and the new iPhone 15 Pro Max have the same battery life. It can't be more disappointing. Hiya. But then again, Apple introduced Type-C for charging. So the charging speed will be more improved, right? Wrong again. There is no increase in charging speed. Absolutely zero. iPhone 14 Pro Max which uses Lightning and the iPhone 15 Pro Max which uses Type-C have the same charging speed. Can an upgrade be more disappointing? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to know which iPhone size is best for you, then click on this video and I'll see you there.